Hi, this is Christian from the Payroll Hero Customer Success Team. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up a loan for your employees and keep track of the repayment process via Payroll Hero. Loans are recorded on the system via a bank and are displayed on the employee's payslip if desired. The repayment can be set up to be automatically deducted from the employee's pay on one or multiple payments and the amount due can be tracked on the payslip. This system consists of two steps. One payment to credit the employee the cash advance and a separate payment to set up the debit or repayment of the loan. So in this video, I will show you how to credit or in other words, give the payment to the employee. So the first thing will be to go to the employee's employee list and find the employee that I will give this loan to. You can either select from the list here or directly search. In this case, I'll give myself a loan. So I'll just go directly to my profile. I'll scroll down here to the payments tab and under employee payments from this drop down here, I will select advance and I will click add a new payment. What this has created is a pre-filled payment template for me with most of the settings that I would regularly use for a payment advance. So the first option here is to either debit or credit. In this case, I want to credit, right? I want to receive this. I want the employee to receive this money. So I want to credit a specific amount. I have a few other options here. I want a specific amount. Let's say 3,500 pesos. And I want this to be paid once. So I have different frequency options. I, in this case, because it's a, a loan, a cash advance, I would want it to be done once starting on a specific date or alternatively enrollment, but I will want to choose specific date on a day within the next payroll of this employee. So this will be credited on the 1 to 15th of August payroll. So I will just add a date, August 2nd, which is within this period. This amount will be credited to net. And I have all their options, obviously, but uh, I would want to credit it to net and record it in a bank. I, we recommend to use a specific bank for cash advances and loans, so it's easier to keep track. Finally, the if there is a tax rule that would um, work over this loan, you would select it here. And finally, you would select where in the payslip you would like this um, item to appear. So it would go under advance and with the name cash advance. And I do not want to categorize and I want this to be paid right away. I reviewed my settings. I click on create when I'm ready. So now this payment has been created and you can double check it down here on the employee payment section. Here it is, cash advance to net to be credited once on August 2nd, 2015. Um, this is the balance. This is the amount that the employee will receive and the current status of unpaid due. I can edit this um, payment if I would like to do any change or alternatively, I can delete it. Once the payroll for this period has been generated, the status of this payment will switch from Unpaid. And this is how you set up a cash advance for an employee. After crediting this payment to the employee, you will want to set up a payment to keep track of the repayment. This I will detail on the next video. For more information and details, please check out our knowledge base at support.payrollhere.com. And if you have any questions, you can reach us at support.payrollhere.com. Thanks for watching.